Hey guys, it's Tim from CSA and here to bring you guys yet another episode of CSA Tries. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little special, a little bit different. It's a cooking challenge between myself, a couple other members of the CSA executive team. We're gonna be heading over to the local Chinese supermarket food island in just a second here. It's the only Chinese one in the area. No TNTs in this area, but we're gonna head over. Super excited. I'm not the best at cooking, don't tell them, but I feel like I could I can pull something out, beat these scrubs a little bit. Basically, this is a quick intro. I'll see you guys at the supermarket and I'll explain a bit more there. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm here with Owen and Joy here. We're at Food Island, local Chinese supermarket, as I just mentioned. We're about to head in there now and uh, get our ingredients for our cooking challenge. So we'll see you inside. All right guys, we have successfully made it into the supermarket. I'm gonna quickly go over what the challenge looks like. Basically, we're gonna have a theme. Each of us spends $25 to get ingredients to cook a meal for that theme. Our theme for today will be the best hangover cure. And I think I already have some ideas just thinking about that because I've never drank personally, but I will say I've heard from people that uh, you want something oily, something really, really oily, really filling when you're not feeling well, when your head's a little dizzy. So I think what I'm gonna do is an oily noodle dish. I still have to figure out what I want to put in this dish yet. I don't know if I want any meat in it, what I want in terms of the protein, but I think for the carbs, I want to pick out probably some thick noodles. So we're at Food Island now, and today I will be buying all the materials I need to make Korean tofu soup. I'm Chinese, so don't judge me if this isn't authentic, but this is definitely like an actual hangover meal that I've had, and it really helps. So stay tuned. I either do chicken bouillon or shrimp bouillon. Does this have MSG in it? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit because I'm not gonna make it, but like, this is my main thing, my main ingredient. So basically my strategy is, when I first heard about the topic, I was like, hmm, something nice, hearty, and warm, and soupy. So that's why I went with wonton soup. Unfortunately, I don't think I can make wonton from scratch just because of the time limit and the budget concerns. However, I've heard that these wontons are pretty good, so. So we have some thick flat noodles. That's a little too thick, but I like I like how thick that is in a bowl. I'm not gonna be making a soup. I'll probably be making something fried. As I mentioned, something a bit oily, but first thing in the basket, I have to pick up some things from the vegetable aisle. But I guess while I'm walking there, I can kind of go over what um, who the competitors are. So one of them is Owen, first year. This guy's probably actually awful at cooking. He got to university this year, so he probably can't even cook. But uh, there's also Joy, who I'm worried about. I've heard she is, she's a fourth year, so she's pretty experienced living the uni life. So I have to pull out all the stops to beat her then. So you don't need that many stuff to make the tofu soup. All you really need are uh, soft tofu, so we're gonna be grabbing that later. I'm gonna be grabbing some pork belly because I really like pork, putting pork belly in my soup. And then we're gonna need some gochujang and some soybean paste and green onions, ginger, and garlic. Look at, look at this bowl. Hey, yo, Tim. I hear you've been uh, chirping me. First year, this is the first year garbage I was talking about. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. Garbage I was talking about. The rotten avocados, huh? What the rotten avocados? Okay, okay, okay. He can't cook. Just gotta watch him walk away. Yeah, walk away. Hi, so we bumped into Owen, but we can't find Tim. So, you know, we're kind of concerned about how, how Tim is doing right now, right? Yeah. I'll tell you guys about the avocado, right? So basically, Tim had a bag of avocados that were rotten no. in his fridge. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm nearing my $25 budget. Maybe I'll have an opportunity to pick up one more thing here. I kind of want to add a bit more flavor in case I screw it up, guys. So I'm gonna go get a lemon. Hear me out here. Zest it all over my meal to mask any disgusting flavors I might have. So I'm gonna pop a lemon and maybe even incorporate some of the lemon juice into it. But last ingredient. I think I found where the rest of my budget is gonna go. As dessert, you know? Oh, and you do be looking kind of stressed out. You think you know what to do. I well, sure. I know for sure what I'm gonna do. Okay. I think you're gonna. You know lose. who doesn't know what to do? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. He looks so lost right now. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. All right, guys. Just made it back home. About to go inside and start the cooking challenge. We all went inside, you guys. I went a little bit over budget, and I mentioned it earlier. Just as long as we keep it quiet, 
We're all good. Yeah, I'll see you there. Hey guys, it's Tim, currently a second year political science student as a productions executive. Um, and a bit more about my cooking background. I'm actually known as a master chef around my house. And uh, I really cook for everyone in the, my house in second year, so that's about it. Hi guys, my name is Owen. I'm a first year economics student. I'm in the events department. And my cooking background, graduating high school, I got the Newberry Bursary of Culinary Arts. That's cat. That's not cat. Hi guys, uh, my name is Joy. I'm in fourth year kinesiology. Um, I am a productions exec, and I think my cooking level is at least higher than both of these two here. That's cat. And we'll see about that. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Eric. I'm one of the events directors, and also uh, Tim's roommate. Um, judging based on what everyone said, I can see some truth and also some lies. So yeah, why well, well, I'm the judge, um, I guess I love to cook. And without further ado, I'm really excited, so uh, let's get into it. All right guys, so now we're in the kitchen here. Uh, we have all our ingredients from Food Island. And good news, all of us actually stayed perfectly under budget. The dish I'm making today is I'll be making a noodle dish, I've heard, as I've never drank before, that when people are hungover, they really want something a bit oily, they really want something to fill up their stomachs, something a bit filling. So I definitely got a lot of so a lot of ingredients I can make some oily food with, whether it be the flat noodles or some pork shoulders. I'm gonna be making something crazy for you guys and for our judge, Eric, but I guess I'll pass it off to Owen here. Yeah, I kind of went the complete opposite route. I have never drank in my life, but I feel like- Me yeah, I feel like we gotta like, after a day of drinking, you, you wanna sweat and feel something hearty. So that's why I went with wontons. So I was unable to, I don't think I was able to make wontons from scratch. And here's my secret ingredient, shrimp bouillon. Go ahead, Joy, tell us what you're getting. So we are going to make something completely different to them. We're gonna be making something with pork belly and and, and tofu. And you guys will be finding out exactly what I'll be making later on. So my total came out to be 2482. So it's 18 cents under budget. You know, I stayed well under budget at 2255. See here. Does that say 32.55 I, 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 I think if you squint hard enough, if you squint hard enough, the the numbers look like 25 point zero. Zero. And I hope that does not play to the decision at all. 32.55. But uh, thanks and I guess we'll see you guys when we start cooking. All right, so the 30 minute timer begins now. Go! First thing I'm gonna do is fill it up with water, noodles in the pot. Oh, that's good. So the idea is you salt the water, increases the boiling point, and adds a lot of that flavor that you really wouldn't expect from a normal pot water. Water heating up, done. So I'm just trying to get the pork belly oil out. So when, when, when you get the oil out of the pork belly, um, the soup tastes yummier. So, cause you get the pork fat in both the soup and in the pork belly. It's um, a really common way that my family cooks. Everything tastes that much yummier when you take the oil out. All right, so the idea here with the white radish is getting some crisp. It's getting some crisp on the uh, noodle dish we're gonna be making. These are actually just peeled garlics, but it's definitely not cheating though. Um, they actually just came like this. So my dish is pretty simple. I'm just making a soup base right now. So this is an amalgamation of all of the sauces and oils and seasoning. So I'm gonna quickly crush this and then I'm gonna add some hot water to it. And then that will be the base for the, for the soup. Oh, shit. oh shit. <laughs> I see these rookies are very loud in the kitchen. You gotta stay cool, calm, and collected, you know? I'm just waiting for the water to boil. That's it. I got nothing else to do. Joy's dish right now looks very standard in terms of what you'd expect for an idea of this of this caliber of competition. Definitely really, hey, what's that definitely really inside the box and nothing you'd really expect from someone of her caliber. She says she's so good at cooking, right? Me on the other hand. A noodle dish, how innovative is that? I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit uh, longer, let the heat cook before I throw some of my vegetables and my meat in there. But yeah, I'll catch you guys a little bit later. This looks absolutely stunning. All right, so here we have our basic rendition of a Chinese charcuterie board. As you can see, we have our array of vegetables. You missed the charcuterie board! Uh, our array of vegetables and meats, we got our onions, garlic, white radish, green onions, and then uh, we have our pork. I hope the judge hears this, but really know that 
Eric is a really healthy person. Some avocado oil is just the best way to brighten up his night. So I think I'll just start off with just a tad bit of oil. Just a smidgen right there. Like a little bit more. And um, I guess we'll just throw in the meats now, guys. Oh, we hear that sizzle? Um, you, um, are you sure you know how to cook? I guess, right, what's yeah. next? I'm not gonna overcut the pan that much. I feel like this is enough. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Um, as you can see, the temperature dropped and this side is no longer boiling. But yeah. Now I've already cooked the pork belly. So I'm just gonna put one of the most important parts of the soup, which is gochujang. So the essence of this is a mix of gochujang and soybean sauce, the way that my mom also likes to make it at home. Oh, look at me cleaning out oh. the bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's looking kind of burnt, guys. Wait, wait, wait. It, I think I think, I think think someone needs to uh, take care of it. Oh, it's not burnt yet. Okay, I guess he's doing all right. I guess he's doing all right. All right, guys, so every good chef really makes use of their best resources. So here we go. Gonna move this onto the high heat because right now we're gonna be closing off our dish right now, throwing in the cooked al dente um, thick noodles here. Boom! <laughs> that looks absolutely um, stunning to me. Don't know how it looks like to you guys. It needs a little bit of green onion in it, especially Asian cuisine. So adding a little bit on top of the soup, every so often you get a little bit of that onion flavor, that scallion flavor. And it's gonna be really good, you know? All right, guys. For the grand finale, we're gonna make our white radish potato chips. Um, oh God, it's getting really hot. <laughs> Ow! Sorry! Stay away! <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, egg goes in. I'm gonna let it boil, and we're done. Oh, we're done. I'm gonna win. All right, six minutes left. <laughs> Guys, in the cooking in the in the cooking world, presentation is key. This presentation. So yeah, I'm basically done. All I need to do is put all the wontons in the soup, and then add some kettle water. So um, on the streets of Japan, you might have seen these. They are little fish cakes filled with uh, red bean usually. Because I had extra money in my budget, I decided to get some of these just as like a little dessert after. It's not much, but you know, every little bit counts in this competition. You know, we got three minutes left, so I want to see them putting the finishing touches on their dishes. Uh, so I hope you be using these last few minutes to kind of make sure the dishes look great, if not taste great. is actually the special noodle hangover cure, the Chiki Timmy special I like to call it. Really hope you enjoy. Okay, so um, you know, at a first glance, the presentation, uh, it's disastrous. I remember Tim had a lot of time going into the final stretch and he neglected to use that time. He went over budget by at least $7, which is not the greatest. Wow, yeah, the radish, there's no crunch. It's not terrible. It's actually not bad. The noodles are a little bit on the salty side, but when he was cooking, I noticed he didn't season his meat. Did you taste this as you went along, or was this just something you kind of pulled together? I'm not sure. Um, it's less of a hangover here. It looks more something that was made by a drunk person. You know, all the dishes look different. I'd say this was a pretty creative dish. Hello, hello, Island, Mr. Judge. I made um, 
wonton soup. And then we have a drink for you because I was under budget. Mm. Mm. And then I was also further under budget, so I got you right, some right, okay. red bean paste cakes. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a lot of things here, um, but you know, more all is always better. Presentation wise, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. You can see he had the um, green onions as garnish, and you know, he got all these things as well. So, in terms of budget, I mean, what can you ask for, right? He has a drink as well as like kind of dessert, so top points, top points right there. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. It's a little bit oily. Let's try the one. I, mean, I could definitely see myself getting this if I wanted to cure a hangover. Very homey, something definitely my mom would make. Yeah, shout out mom. You always want a snack after you kind of had a long day of drinking, so very tasty. This is my first time actually trying this drink. I've never had it before. We'll see if it makes or breaks the meal. Not bad, not bad. Putting everything together, pretty solid, I'd say. In terms of creativity, maybe not the most creative. Overall, very tasty and I'm very happy with the result. Great job, Owen. Alright, so this is the Korean soft tofu stew. Um, it's a little bit spicy, very warm and hearty, and it's perfect for a hot mm. My personal go-to hangover food is uh, kimchi shige, or like Korean kimchi stew. So this is something very similar. Looks pretty good. You also have green onion garnish on top. I like the presentation like the bowl it's in. So yeah, um, it's really tasty. Little bit, there's something I feel like is a little bit missing. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely very warm. In terms of value, I know Joy went under budget. Um, we also have this yogurt drink, which I've actually never had before, but I'd love to try it now. Um, we have a lot of those um, yogurt drinks you'll get in China. Pretty tasty, a little bit nostalgic. How it works with the dish, I'm not so sure actually, uh, but definitely something that is Tasty on its own. Yeah, in terms of taste, definitely up there. In terms of creativity, also uh, pretty nice. For hangover cure, that's for sure something I'm looking for. And yeah, overall, not too bad. All right, before I announce uh, what I think got the best dish, uh, I guess I'll go through pros and cons for each one, just as a quick reminder. The pro of Tim is, uh, is that he was able to put something together for today's, for today's show. And I'm really glad that he was able to kind of work really hard and like have like some parts come through really well. But the cons is everything else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's it's not a terrible dish. Tim's not the worst chef ever. Owen's dish, it was really tasty. Not really my palate, but it surprised me really well. And um, honestly, it's uh, definitely something I might look for if I have a hangover now. Joy's dish, this is something I'm more familiar with uh, when it comes to hangover. The dish was lacking a little something, but yeah, in uh, we don't say last place, we say third place. That's still bronze medal. Um, Probably a big surprise, but um, we're gonna put Tim, Tim at third place. The the Tim Hangover special. I forgot the name, but I thought the name was really creative, and I'm really glad he's really able to put this on the plate. I uh, hope he watches it after. And um, without further ado, let's go into first place. Congratulations to Owen. Oh really? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <Wait, laughs> no, but, but of course with joy. Second place, it was super, super close. It was really tasty. needed that little bit of sugar that Eric's house doesn't and, have. And how close is third place? <laughs> and third place? I think there was a... You know, there's tortoise in the hair. There's a difference. But there's also, you know, Tim and the rest. <laughs> well, I think if this, if it was all judging based on effort, Tim would be first place. But yeah, so thanks to everyone for coming out and uh, making all these dishes. They're all super... Most of them were super delicious. And, <laughs> and I hope these chefs are really proud of what they've made today. Let's go! Let's go, Let's go! All right, guys, that does it for our episode of CSA Tries. Hope you guys really enjoyed uh, watching us all cook. Um, definitely not super happy with the results, but you have to live by them. Again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. Yeah, not like because not good or anything. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cal approval. Very pretty, guys. <laughs>